Okay, I'm gonna open Desk 2. This is a compiled version from Ackman's build. Um, it's just got a few different things that can be done, but um, I'm gonna click connect and it says the connected ESC has an old firmware. So then I'm going to go to the firmware tab and it's a 10, 11 and 12 build and I'm just going to go default and this cursor here, update firmware. I accidentally press no. Okay, um, we can go back to firmware, it's saying that it's firmware 3.1 and it's hardware 4.10. Um, okay. It's the same as BLDC tool, you can choose BLDC or FOC. Um, current tab, you can change your current settings, voltage tab, you can change your voltage settings, RPM, temperature and your advanced tab. Um, Voltage settings, you can change what type of battery you're using and then how many cells you can apply that and that will actually read and um, enter all the settings that you need for that. But we're going to leave them all the same. I'm going to go file and load XML configuration for the motor. I've got it saved on my desktop. And open. And then if we go here, all the current settings have changed. And then, and then we want to, so if we go read configuration, it changes those settings. Um, you can read default settings, which should be the same as the firmware. And then this M is write mode configuration. So let's do that again. Load motor XML. My desktop, motor, and right motor configuration, and motor configurations update. So now if I read the configuration, these do not change. The settings for the senseless motor I've already entered in. Now we're going to go to the application tabs to PPM. Um, and we're going to do the same thing. Load app configuration for the app. Desktop motor app. Open. And then we're going to write A. So write application configuration. Okay. Now motor plugged in. But if you go to the setup wizard, you can connect to your VESC. And then the motor setup wizard. Next, you don't want to load the default settings, we're using BLDC. Next, current limits, would you like to do a soft battery? I'm going to click no because we've already done that, it's senseless, we're going to go next and then I've already entered these in but if you do uh, motor detection now the settings might be a little bit different because the VESC tool is a lot newer than BLDC um, and the firmware that's come with your VESC so I will just do a motor detection again you um, press play start detection and then apply and then next and then finish and it's written all of the um, motor configuration as you can see it went green there click finish you can do the same thing for the application but really you don't have to do them 